Hey there everybody, welcome to the finale of Let's Play Kirby's Adventure for the Nintendo Entertainment System. As you can see, we're 84% complete with this game. We're going to be getting the, uh, the other 16% today, as well as getting the last 7th of the Star Rod from none other than King DDD himself. So, uh, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and watch this little cinematic here. That's really making... I'm, I'm having a seizure right now from that friggin' rainbow. Uh, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and restart everybody's ability to drain. So this place is pretty, pretty cool. It's got some stuff going on in it. I think there's a bunch of friggin' secrets that are a pain in the ass. But I don't know. We'll see. Alright, yeah. So, oh goodness. I think there's like... Yeah. You, you can do that in this level a lot, actually. Yep. Stage is awesome. Alright, so here we go, guys. We're uh, in Rainbow Zer Resort right now, is what this is called. Oh, we gotta be careful here. So, yeah, you definitely want... Well, let's make sure there's not a door or anything in here. Rainbow Resort's pretty awesome. It's got a lot of crazy stuff like that. It's obviously dark. It's kind of hard to see and everything. Uh... You can, you can miss some stuff every once in a while. It is possible. See, now we're using that friggin' slide that I forgot we could do because I'm really, really stupid. Oops. Well, screw it. Just get rid of that. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be finishing up this game today, like I said. Uh, we're going to be taking on King DDD and uh, figuring out what exactly has been going on here in Dreamland. Try to get to the bottom of everything, try and uh, complete that star rod, and get everybody back to dreaming. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. It's that smart targeting I was bragging about earlier, screwing me. Alright, so I'm just going through here. A lot of waddle dees down there, damn. Oh, shoot! Alright, hold on. Can we get him to fall? Yeah, we can. Come here, buddy. Oh, son of a gun. I did not expect that to happen, even though I probably really should have. Alright, so here we're going. Alright, let's get going here. You kind of slide a little bit in this stage, so it's kind of weird. Uh, I know we missed that door, so we're probably going to have to come back, unfortunately. Backtracking. Oh, jeez. Almost got popped right there. Here's the end of the stage, but I feel like we uh, didn't get everything in here. I guess we'll find out here right now. Damn it. I haven't talked about the box art to this game yet, which is friggin' epic. You can see it back there. It's really, actually, very cool. Alright, guys, let's jump back in here. Uh, I'll let you know when I find the secret, I guess. Alright, guys, so I finally figured this out. This is pretty obnoxious, too, to be honest with you, but... They give you all these powers in this room. Some of them are there to trick you, pretty much. But once you... Oh, God. Are you serious? I just did that. Are you serious? Once you get uh, this beam power, you're actually going to almost immediately see... They pretty much force you to see that... Uh, well, I'll show you here in a second. Yeah, that you can break some of these blue bricks right here. Uh, so they pretty much show you that... Uh, which is nice of them, it's a nice little hint. But this next part is just complete bull, but whatever. Um, you live and learn, I guess. Uh, so we go through here, we kill all this, we get all three of these uh, Waddle Dees out of the way. And then you can break these three blocks, so I went crazy trying to figure out, you know, how to uh, get break the blocks up there, but you cannot. So then you get up here and you can't really do anything else. Uh, and you can break couple of these here and there now you can't break these blocks right here they're just making that noise so we get rid of beam Kirby because obviously beam Kirby doesn't work anymore and we're gonna try all the other powers but the first power we get to is fireball and he evidently didn't like us trying to kill him uh, so then you get fireball Kirby you're gonna come right back and try that right so I guess this isn't actually as bad as I made it out to be please don't go in that door Alright, so now we're going to come up here, we're going to be like, oh, does this do it? And yeah, it does, so we just go right on in this door, hit that switch, boom, secret revealed, perfect. 
And now we come out right here. And, uh, I don't really know how we get out of here. Oh, yep, you can just uh, slide to break those blocks. All right, fantastic, you guys. There we go. So there you go. That's how you do that. Secret stage. So many secrets. All right, so now we're just continuing on, uh, facing some baddies here. I think it's a pretty common theme. I think we're going to be facing pretty much everybody that we've faced before. He's a lot easier. Most of them are easier to kill when you just, uh, like, suck up whatever they throw at you than trying to use powers. We will definitely take Crash, though, because Crash is amazing. Uh, we'll just keep going. I think, actually, what is isn't this, like, really Mega Man-esque? Oh, God, I did not. I did not. What the hell ever. Yeah, we're basically just going to be facing uh, all of our friends again. Taking out this guy here. Same strategy as before. Really, it is a lot easier to just take him out when you use these against him, but... You just gotta wait for this guy to get done with his ringing. Look at how sad his eyes look. He looks really depressed. Alright. We'll take Mike then. We're not gonna accidentally use it this time either. Because we're gonna be pros about it. So yeah, that's very uh, Mega Man-esque fighting some baddies again, pretty much. Does Mike even... Yeah, Mike does hurt this guy. There we go. Oh, are you serious right now? Jerk. I guess we'll take Freeze now and go up to the next one. Just climbing this tower. Getting the job done. Bonkers here. See, Bonkers is... Well, no, not if you can make him do stupid stuff like that. Got him. Let's go ahead and take Hammer now. This Hammer's amazing. I'll take that any day. Get in here. See who else we're facing. This idiot. Oh, I hate this guy so much. He's probably one of my least favorite ones to try and take on. Oh, Hammer was super useful against him. I don't want your crappy power. Keep Hammer. We probably should have got that. It probably works in an order where it's best to use those against the next guy. But I don't care. Hammer's awesome. You're not taking it from me. God, this guy keeps screwing me. Boom! Suck it! You didn't see that one coming. We'll take Backdrop, why not? I don't know how useful that is against boss battles, though. Or, yeah, where's the lion guy? Yeah, it's not useful, would be the answer. Got him. Right, we gotta be careful here, though. We're running low on health. Man, it's kind of lame that they don't give you any health while you're doing this. Gotcha. We'll grab Fireball, which I'm pretty sure isn't that what we started this with. And there we go. Yeah, I know. We're in trouble. Grab on this Warp Star. And blast off. The backgrounds in this. This game is just really colorful. It really demonstrates the power of the uh, NES. Boom! Filling up and beating the stage. No secrets in that one. Just straight all around good times. Oh, I'm so close! Oh, dance, you crazy Kerba dance. Alright, awesome, awesome. That was a really cool stage, actually. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, but Kirby games, like this game just really demonstrates how amazing, like, how powerful the NES was. And it was. It was a powerful little system. I guess, should I show you guys sleep? I don't feel like I should. If you're close enough to something, it pretty much just wrecks it, but otherwise, it sucks balls. Apparently, I'm not doing very good with Fireball, though. God, I thought I screwed up again. These guys are everywhere, man. Alright, we'll kill that guy. Go in here. This looks like a job for Bane Kirby, be real honest with you. Oh, why is this guy chasing my nugget? Oh, get away from me. This part sucks. Oh, they're being very nice to us today. Get rid of that. Oh, awesome. All right, this music's amazing too. Come on, run, Kirby. There we go. Gotta get moving, man. 
No, 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 no. Take. Oh, parasol and not beam. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You gotta be careful when you're flying around here with these freaking parasols. They'll try and get you. I don't think there was a secret in that stage either. I hope not. I don't know. Can't imagine where it would have been. That wasn't very good. Oh, I knew it wasn't enough. Damn, you guys. We were kicking ass today. Getting straight through Kirby. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, 7-4. The good times roll. Rainbow Resort is awesome. I don't want Ball Kirby. Get the hell out of here. Oh, damn it. I knew he was going to get to us. I guess I'll show you sleep. See? It freaking sucks. Man. Made it through that, no problems. Oh, God. Look at all the Ball Kirby things. I don't know what their real names are. I just know that they give you the shittiest power from the game. I really wish I had remembered I could do that earlier on. I wonder how much easier this game would have been. Oh man, we're just having us go through all the uh, all the rooms that look exactly alike. Oh god, I knew that was happening. Got him. Slow, okay, calm down, Kirby. I think this was pretty useful here. I guess. Stop, dude. Come on. See, that's what bothers me about Tornado Kirby, though. It's like, you want him to stop, but he's just like, no, screw you. I do what I want. Oh, whoa, we're getting Fireball. Bet that. Much better. There we go. I was scared of that guy. Awesome. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, that's going to suck. We don't want that to happen. I wonder if we can outrun this guy if we do this. Yep. Ooh, this looks like it could be secret-laden, though. We might, we might be in for troubles right there. That wasn't it, either. Oh, my God. I'm going to be going in this final fight with, like, no friggin' lives. Hopefully we beat all that. I don't know. Oh, looks good. Awesome. We are running out of life, though. Looks like we're not going to make it through. Oh, God. We got Bomb Bill here trying to cook our gooses. Oh, God. Just run, Kirby. Oh, God. That one was too fast. Oh, but one of the previous ones exploded before uh, that one could kill. Oh, of course. Well, this is not cool. He should fall over now, yeah. Oh, God. Come on. He's not a very useful villain in this sense. But, you know, he still killed me, so I wish I hadn't said that. I thought he was going to keep going right under me. Damn it. Alright, so we're back facing this jerk. We need to get our... Why didn't you shoot anything out? God. Ah, oh, shoot. Got him. Eh, eh. Damn it, I hate this guy. Oh, come on. That was completely my fault, actually, so I don't know who I'm pissed at. Are you serious? That was bull. I wonder if I could just slide into him. God, screw you, dude. Oh, my God. I like this little one just nonsense rolling around the bottom there. What's going on here? Why did I jump so high right there? Oh, it's showing you which way it pushes you. It pushes you down or up, depending. I probably should have got firepower then. That probably would have been a lot more useful. See, now this one's going to push us down. It's wherever the big star is. Just come on. Damn it to hell. Oh, my God. We're almost toasted. Get up there, curbs. Come on, bro. Man, this is tough. Game's nuts! Guess we'll take your power. It's better than being unarmed against whatever's coming. Oh, yeah, well, I guess we did need that. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, shh. God. 
This freaking fireball dick made me uh, shoot that. That's probably going to be a secret, I imagine. Oh, it sucks. Maybe we should just die and try it again. Wait, can I... Wait, is it going to work if I try and light it again? Yeah, it is. Oh, almost. Okay, you guys, we got this. We got this. We freaking got this. Oh, one for that jump. Oh, my God. Okay, it's this time, you guys. It's this time. This is my time to shine. Come on. Oh, I made it. Come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, you guys. Oh, okay. So you slide through it. Well, that was my problem, you guys. Probably made it like a dozen times. Get off my dick, laser dude. Wait, doesn't laser beam do this too? Light these? Or does it have to be dead center? Let's try laser and see what happens. God damn it. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Oh my god, this game. Let's do this instead. Oh, of course it doesn't light. That makes perfect sense. That did not work well, you guys. Let's try laser beam and see what happens. Alright, we need our fire, buddy. That's what it's looking like. And I screwed that up, so... Let's go back and get him. This is terrible. Oh, goodness! <sighs> Stop, man. I'm crazy. All right, you guys, this is it. We're doing this. I really hope this is worth it. Okay. God. Okay. This damn will better be worth it. I'll tell you that right now. Got it. Woo. Well, that's, hey, that's not bad. I'll take it. Secrets. Amazing. Those are going to come in really handy, to be honest with you. All right, awesome. That was worth it, you guys. That was worth it. See, perseverance, you guys. That's what video games teach you. They teach you perseverance and, and to triumph over adversity. All right. No secret then, I imagine? All right, awesome, you guys. We are just killing this. There's so much area that uh, is still covered, but saying no secret, so... Whatever. Oh, uh, throwback time. What's up? This is awesome. I forgot about this stage. I just did a Let's Play of this game. Oh, this is so sick. It's got the music and everything. Kirby games are awesome. It's been kind of hard to do commentary for this, but it's one of my most beloved franchises of all time. It's just so awesome. So much fun. It's really the first games that I like was able to beat as a kid, too, were Kirby games. And like I said, most of my first purchases were, uh, yeah, it was completely my fault. I just didn't hit the B button. Most of my first purchases were Kirby games, too, so this is just really neat. See this little throwback and everything. And I did. I played, uh, Dreamland way before I played Adventure. Oh, come on now. I'm just getting wrapped up in the music, to be honest with you. Oh, goodness. Oh, shoot. There we go. Alright, here we go. We gotta get through this here. Oh. Damn, they're just giving us everything. We don't really need that tomato, though. Alright, I was just seeing if there were any hidden doors, you guys. Come on. I've learned. I'm pretty sure there's a secret in this stage, to be honest with you. Things become colored if I suck them up. No, it looks like it was just uh, the blocks there. Oh, man. Let's just see what's going on up here. Nothing, I guess. I don't know. I'm a worry wart now, I guess. I don't know. It's gotta be secrets around here. Oh, I knew that was happening. It's okay. Explosion is huge, dude. Be careful. Yeah. 
Oh, I thought I'd uh, do the thing where you damage them in time. So I guess those guys don't shoot beams. I don't know. I guess not. I've never seen them do it, so must not. Oh man, this is like all the Kirby stages. This is awesome. Oh god. I really hate these things. Ah! Damn it. Come on, Kirby. Go in the door, bro. Some of us have to itch our arms, Kirby. Oh, I'm sorry, Kirby, because you can't itch your arms. That was a dick move for me to say that, man. Just run on through here. Oh, we can do this, can't we? Ha ha, duh. Oh, goodness. Alright. What's going on here? Ah ha ha! You guys were naysayers, but I said yay! I was a yay-sayer! Warp room? Hell yes. Oh god. They're still getting us our one up. We'll get this mate or two, just for fun. I kind of remembered that, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy because that would have been such a biatch to search for. I need... Oh my god. It's funny how some things stick out in your mind. Oh, there we go. Gonna be facing off here with none other than the king himself. So you can see that we uh, have cleared everything. So it's time to just go on in here. Let's get to going. Super Smash Brothers right here. All right. There we go. Oh! Tried to get us there. Got him. King DDD fights are the best, man. Oh, come on now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah! Uh! DDD's pretty easy to avoid um, and hit. He stays pretty stationary, pretty low to the ground most of the time. Uh, if you stay a healthy distance away from him, and you got to bait him into doing that, though. Let's talk about that first. Uh... It, you have to bait him into using most of his hammer attacks. Uh, but if you stay far enough away from him, uh, chances are that you can avoid him pretty easily. Uh, he does chase after you there, and he did get me to be an idiot right there. But Like I said, he pretty much stays on the ground for the most part during your battle. If you stay on the ground, he'll stay on the ground. And uh, if you get just close enough to get him to use that hammer attack, uh, but you stay out of range pretty much of the rest of his attacks... You should be good. Uh, sprinting is also really good in this because uh, it'll get you far enough away from him. So if you're in the danger zone, like when you have to do that to get him to uh, attack you. Sorry, I was focusing right there. Um, sprinting's your friend. So just anytime you're moving in another direction, always just be double tapping that uh, direction pad. Ah, I thought he was going to hit us there, but he's not doing it. He's so cool. Like his... Uh, Animations in this game are awesome. Oh, you dick! Damn it. Alright, we gotta get him to use this. This is gonna be it. Got you! Aha! So there we go. The king has fallen. And now we're going to the Fountain of Dreams to restore dreams to everyone. Well, DDD's trying to tell, he's telling us not to do it. Kirby is is poor look at poor DDD. We're about to find out in a second here that maybe DDD wasn't who we should have been worried about. That's right, you guys. Because when you dream, you can sometimes have nightmares. So here we are, you guys, the final battle with none other than uh, Nightmares themselves. Nightmares here facing us. We are fighting him right now. It's, uh, this is the only flying stage like this in the, uh, in the whole game right here. So DDD was not being a DD dick. He was actually trying to keep the people of Dreamland safe. Now, a lot of people don't talk about this at all, and uh, when DDD... Uh, 
helps out Kirby um, sometimes in some of the games, uh, especially some of the newer games where they do four-player and stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to talk over how annoying this noise is, to be super honest with you, because it's not fun to listen to. But, uh, and then when they, uh, when DDD helps out, they're all like, oh, why would DDD do that? He's an asshole. But he's not really. And a lot of the games and a lot of the content, um, DDD isn't always a super jerk. I mean, a lot of the times when he, uh, does do stuff, he's stealing frigging, uh, food or something. So sometimes he's, he's quite the, uh, the ass. I think we lost, to be honest with you. Yeah. You have to kill him before that. Uh, I don't really, I'm not really in love with this fight, you guys. I gotta try and remember how to do this, to be honest with you. Maybe if we stare right up on him, I don't know. When he's doing that, though, I'm pretty sure we can't hit him. So, I don't know. There we do. We're doing way more damage when we stare right up on him. It's been a really long time, like I said, since I played this game. Uh... So, we're going to just try and do this without dying too much, but we're in pretty big trouble already. Maybe we could stay farther back now that we uh, have done that much damage to him. Try and get through this here. But, uh, well, anyway, like I was saying, King DDD's not always the villain that he is in some of the games. Sometimes he's not that bad of a guy. Especially in the, the recent ones, you can see that uh, he's been pretty friendly. He was throwing friggin' sh stuff before he even had a life bar, for Christ's sake. This guy's an ass out. When he's spinning, I'm almost positive that we can't damage him, but I'm not completely sure. Maybe that is when we damage him? I'm not... I don't know. That's... sucky. We're doing a lot better this time than we did the two previous attempts. Uh, like most villains, though, he has multiple forms, so we are going to need to get through a couple battles with him. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to town, trying to get this guy dead. God, this sucks really bad. Got him! Alright, there we go. So now we jump onto our warp star. We're going off, pursuing him. Like I said, those extra lives are going to come in really handy. It's actually a pretty uh, pretty rough bus boss fight, uh, to be honest with you. A lot of iterations. I'm pretty sure we start from here if we die, but I'm not positive. We're going to have to come up with a much different strategy, though, if that's true. So this is all cinematic still. Um, and he does disable us from being able to fly. And here he is, Nightmare. Uh, wasn't he the bad guy in the video game, too? Or, not the video game, the TV series. I gotta try to remember how to hit him. I think you hit his face, but I don't remember how to do that. I'm trying to figure this out. I'll figure this out quickly! We've not damaged him yet, so that's not good. Damn. I'm trying to figure out. I got. Oh my god! Wish I remembered how to kill this guy. Yeah, we do start from here. That's what I thought. That's pretty nice of them. So this little thing is blocking our attacks for the most part. It looks like I can't hit his cape, so I think I have to hit him in the face. I'm pretty sure. Well, it looks like we damaged him right there. So it's either his body. It's his body. It's his body right there. That's his weak point. The cape you can't hit, but his body when he goes to attack you can hit. He's, uh, he's, I mean, you can see that he's got it blocked right there, so that's why we couldn't hit him. He was covering it. Oh, that's no good. No one get caught there. Alright, so tips for this fight. Uh, actually, not too bad. When he does that, that is the best time to wallop him. Uh, if you stay over in the corners, pretty much, uh, pretty much right where I'm staying, you can pretty much, uh, stay safe, for the most part. Um... You have a lot of hits. I think we might have to do these last couple fights with him. I think he has a form after this as well. And I think we might have to do that all uh, without dying. But I'm not positive again. It's been quite a while since I've faced good old Nightmare here. Like I said, I haven't really played this game since I beat it uh, back in the day. So, Alright, should be coming down here. That was a perfect opportunity to hit him, but I thought he was doing a different attack, so. 
Oh, goodness. He's getting serious. Uh, I guess when his life drops below half is when he really becomes kind of sporadic. He gets some different attack patterns, too. I was trying to get up there so I could hit him. Damn it. See, he's not as vulnerable as he was before because he's not doing that one attack. Oh, come on! Oh my god, if we die right now, I'm going to be super ticked off at myself. Alright, come on now. Just avoid that. That's crazy. I think you can hit him right there. Maybe if I had let out air sooner, I would have been able to. Oh. Well, see, now I'm just avoiding. I'm completely defensive right now. That's definitely not what you want to do. God, come Oh, I jumped right there, though. you got to be kidding me. This is really starting to tick me off, to be honest. Alright, we're going to get way more offensive right here. If we were behind him there. We probably could have got a couple hits on him, but we weren't high enough up. This, yeah, this is pro, you guys. This is friggin' pro. This is how you beat him, let me tell you. Alright, let's get... Yeah, we got him there. I was ready for him that time. Alright, you guys. Here we go. We got this. See, I was trying to get behind him so we could just wallop him uh, for free, pretty much. We got this, though. No problems. If we have to get a whole new fight... Ah, damn it! Got him. Sup, Nightmare? Yeah, but in that cartoon, anybody remember the Saturday morning cartoon? Wasn't this the guy? DDD got monsters from this dude? I'm pretty sure. I think that's how that worked. God, that is a really fun battle. I think that might be it, to be honest. Maybe. That's so cool. Oh my god. No more Super Saiyans in Dreamland. Ah, this game is so boss. Kirby fought to find the Star Rod. But King DDD did not mean any harm. Bad dreams had invaded Dreamland. Dreamland! I'm sorry, that explanation point. A nightmare came to the dream spring. And tried to cause pain to the people. Look, there he is. Oh, his animation is so tight. DDD foiled the nightmare. By hiding the star rod from him. That's why he gave it to his friends. Gave each one a piece. DDD helped Kirby beat the nightmare. I don't know how much help he was, but uh, it was nice of him. Now everyone's dreams will return. It was nice of him to try to keep it from happening. Tonight, Dreamland will sleep well. DDD trying to be a good king. He'll steal your food right out from under you, but uh, he won't let you have any nightmares. There you go, you guys. What an awesome friggin' game. So much fun. Uh, just... I love it. I, I absolutely love this game. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to uh, play it again. Get a little Super Mario or Super Smash Brothers background going on. Um, just awesome. Just a really, really great game. I love it a lot. It's got a very special heart and a very special place in uh, my childhood heart because, uh, like I said, this I mean, these were some of the first games I beat were Kirby games. So now we're going to go through the uh, credits here, showing us some of the uh, fights that were actually, but you know, looking back, knowing what we know now, we're just kind of uh, beating up on people that are trying to save uh, Dreamland. So this is kind of a dark montage right here. But it's just showing you some uh, battle scenes, you know, not actual play that we did. Uh, probably what you should have done, because he is wrecking Paint Roller right there. There are two favorite guys again. Oh, damn, that would have been really useful there. Well, got, apparently just watch the end credits for a better walkthrough of how to play this game than I gave you. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, but yeah. Cracko. Nuts.
Oh, I never would use it. High jump against him was pretty good. I don't know, maybe that does way more damage, but when you use the high jump right, you can you can really wreck his day. He doesn't seem to be... Well, I mean, you're not going to take any damage at this. Parasol, though, instead of hammer? Really? Really? I don't know about that. I guess Parasol doesn't... Because hammer, if you guys noticed, it was cracking the ground underneath me, so I guess it can be a little bit dangerous. Oh, I didn't think about that. You could hit him... Uh, with it just by having it above your head. Now this fight I know was terrible when I did this, but you can avoid Meta Knight. Um, he's not too hard to avoid, but actually, you know, my strategy wasn't that bad either. This is actually like a way dumbed down Meta Knight because he usually jumps in front of you. But uh, yeah, whatever. High jump Kirby or for real? No, not at all. Why would you do that? Why would you poison a DDD fight? Those are so much fun. Don't use powers in a DDD fight. Are you kidding me? Um, there you go, guys. But there you go. Kirby's Adventure for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, the end. You can see Extra Game. Congratulations. Choose Extra Game to go on a more challenging quest. In this quest, you can't save, and your max health is three. So that is a much more difficult uh, than what we already did. As you can see, we got 100% on Kirby's Adventure. Uh, we earned the Hero of Lore tag, and uh, as you can see as well, we have the ability to pick Extra Game, which uh, I did my Kirby's Dreamland playthrough, and I told you guys, I promised in that that we would go through and play the Extra Game, and that's kind of a Kirby staple. Uh, maybe not in the later games. I haven't really played much. I didn't play Epic Yarn, like I said, and... Uh, I haven't played Return to Dreamland. I don't know if it returns, if the extra game or the uh, second story, second adventure takes place in those later games. But at least in the earlier Kirby games, the extra game was a staple. But uh, right now, I, I promised you guys that I, I would uh, play that, and I'm going to make the same promise again. I will play through Kirby's Adventure on the hard mode. We won't be going through and finding everything like we did. We'll just be beating the game. I will be showing you guys that at some point in the future, so stay tuned. Uh, if you also, if you enjoy what you saw here, you enjoyed my Kirby playthrough, and you want to check out my other one, my Kirby's Dreamland, or any of the other Let's Plays I have, please feel free to check out my channel. I would absolutely love that. Uh, but for right now, I just want to thank you for checking out this specific episode, as well as the rest of this playthrough. It was a lot of fun. Like I said, I love this game. And hopefully uh, that imparted on you, that Im impressed upon you how much I love this game as well. Uh, and you could feel that in the Let's Play. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you had fun. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.